Good morning, it's AJ and today is Wednesday, June 7th, 2016. Go ahead and tell me about your day down below and I will see you tomorrow. And I remembered! Well, I wrote it down, so of course I remembered. <laughs> but yesterday I went and voted because uh, it, was vo it was the primary voting day in California, but it, along with a couple of Senate elections, state assembly elections, and some ballot measures for my local area. Which, which are great. Those are the things that you need to vote in because those are things that you directly affect. But the question that I had yesterday was why isn't like voting day a national holiday? Why, why, why is it voting day like a day that everyone usually just it, it gets off? Like except for federal workers, obviously. But that's a day that anyone can just go in and vote because all day is free just for that purpose. We live in a democracy. I would expect that to be something that would be tantamount. Um, we get paid for jury service, which is important and you should do every time that I've gotten called for jury duty. I've gone, but I've been lucky enough to get it dismissed because <laughs> uh, all the cases got resolved before I had to serve. But uh, jury duty is also another way that you can directly impact your local area in a very meaningful and positive way. Um, but the election thing is, we, we live in a democracy, we directly, we should, in theory, directly affect what happens with our government. So uh, why is it that voting day is on a Tuesday in the United States? I think, I think it's on a Monday in the UK, I'm not sure, let me check. No, it's on a Monday in Canada. So Canada and the United States have their voting days on the busiest days of the week for work and stuff like that. Whereas there are countries like Australia and France that have them on Saturday and Sunday, which which are much better on voters. So I don't know, I just thought it was really weird that we don't have our voting days on days that the most possible people can get to the ballots and vote. Why does it always have to be something? Why, why is voting in a democracy a privilege and not a right? I don't know. I have some deep thoughts sometimes. I'm not going to tell you which way to lean on your voting. I'm just going to, t I just want it to be driven home that voting is something that you need to do if you want to have some sort of impact on your government. And not just like for prime ministers and presidents, but for your congressmen, your local state assemblymen, your local con uh, your state congress people. Like, these are things that are really important. Vote on your local ballot measures. There are sometimes elections that get held in just your town that you get a ballot for. And if the best way to make sure that you get a ballot is to sign up for an absentee ballot because if you vote consecutively, I think it's three elections that you have to keep, uh, you have to vote consecutively in, and they'll keep sending it. And if you don't vote in three of them, then they'll stop sending it and you have to re-register to vote. So, but that's only in the United States. I don't know about the rest of the world. I know a lot about you know, the United States, you know, voting system and stuff like that, but I don't know very much about everywhere else. So I'm gonna end it on that note. That got real long. <laughs> but it's important. So when your voting days come up, whether they are for a federal or state election or even a local county election, you should go out and vote. Because in the smaller elections, you actually do make a difference. Laws are changed in small towns and local elections, not in the big leagues. Because in the big leagues, no one really wants you to think. Everyone wants you to look at the big leagues because that's the one where there are more people voting. So because there are more people voting, your vote has less of an impact on that point. That doesn't mean that your vote doesn't matter. It means that you have to get into the practice of being an informed voter. And in order to do that, you need to vote in your local elections. It doesn't matter what you vote for, as long as you do. Because, for the most part, we live in democracies, and democracies only function when the people are actively participating in them. And on that note, I'm going to go. And I will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, stay good, keep transmitting, and bye!
this totally intentional proud of myself am i good now ah.